Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, guys? Am I a bit loud? Is the mic a bit loud? Looks like it on the uh, on the levels, but I don't know how it's coming through on you. Morning, Zach. Are you in yet this morning, Zach? Are you in yet? I see we have the British Zwift champion is in this race. No, not Cam Jeffers. Uh, <laughs> James Phillips, fellow Welshman. First time I've raced against him in a while, so it might be a good chance to score some points against him. <laughs> Although it's a, it's a sprint finish, potentially, so maybe not. Nice one, Michael, nice one. Morning, Phil. We're still, um, are we good for about one? Just send me a message if not. I don't think I need my uh, disco lights on. It's quite uh, quite bright in here. Oh, a ni nice orange colour. A nice blue colour. Mm, purple. Mm, the purple is nice. Morning, Lord. <laughs> Your first proper race series. Here we are, awesome film, good job. The first proper race series, it's going to be a good one by the looks of it. Um, I've heard some, some good things from uh, the guy I've been talking to about this, uh, this series. He reckons it's going to be a good one. Morning, Kev. Oh, Steve Young has just joined. Is that the Steve Young, the Python? I'm guessing it is. It's going to be quite fun if it is. We've got Mr. Lucker here from No Pins 3R. So a couple of hitters have decided to do this one. Some lube on my chain, and I did give it a bit of a, a wipe yesterday. It's horrendous weather here yesterday. It's horrendous weather again today. I'm glad my camp is over now. Uh, sort of. It was like I had to cancel it a day early because it's Charlie's birthday on Sunday. I had to cancel the camp a day early because uh, the presents were coming yesterday. <laughs> so I couldn't ride yesterday. I think it was just an excuse, really. I was just really tired. <laughs> hey, Dan, how you doing? Nice, easy course to start with, huh? <laughs> This route is flat, yeah, that's, that's what I mean, nice easy course. Yeah, it is that, it is a good morning for Zwift. Right, make sure I've got everything now, I've got towel, I've got liquid, Morning, Grim. Uh, these are Bluetooth headphones, yeah, or earphones. I've heard of the bone conducting ones, yeah. I've never tried. I've never actually tried them, but I've seen. I've seen my like friends and my locally with them. They're pretty good, apparently, aren't they? They're pretty good.
Yeah, before he gets mental. The distance today, I think it's about 52 kilometers. I might be wrong, but it's something like that. Have I changed all your settings? I was asking earlier if it was a bit too loud. Is it too loud? I can see on my levels here that it's like, it's pretty high. I'll just put it down a little bit, but I don't know. Sounds low. I mean, the mic is just there, so. Actually, I'm gonna get a banana, because I'm worried. <laughs> I'm paranoid, though. <laughs> Just a little one. Doesn't sound like doesn't sound like my Yeti. Really? Hang on a minute. One sec. How about how about now? What does it sound like now? It definitely looks like something's changed. We're getting we're getting good at this. <laughs> All right. Oh, go get this banana dough now. Hang on. Oh. Oh. What am I looking for? I'm all. Uh, I'm all flustered now. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna stop this. I need to get the chat up. Hey, do <laughs> Come on, I don't want an advert. On YouTube. There we go. <laughs> Nearly as slick as I feel like I like you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, fan. Blow my neck. What's going on here? There we go. I've moved my head to in now. It's no longer in front of me. It's now to the side. The only problem is I'm now getting like a sweaty left hand and a very very cold right hand. But you know, such is life. <sighs> All right, here we go then. Good luck, everyone. Have a good ride. See you on the other side. Concentrate for the first couple of minutes and then I get back to the chat. Where's my mate Zach? Oh, there he is. Zach's going straight into a threshold interval session.
No, I didn't need my weight. <laughs> I didn't need my weight. I moved it because I wasn't getting the fan in my face. So now I am. I was like sweating loads here and like really cold everywhere else. Is that so, Zach? Ah. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna come out with a video very shortly, summarizing what I did over my little uh, 10 to 12 day training camp, if you wanna call it that. Uh, I'm gonna summarize that and uh, give you a bit of direction as to where I'm gonna go in the next month because it's gonna be a difficult month the next month with changes in lockdown rules in in the UK. Wales has just said they're gonna be staying in lockdown for at least another three weeks. So, I mean, that gives me kind of another, another week, another month rather, to do what I need to do. But I'm, um, I, I'm thinking of like doing very little um, the next month in terms of structured sessions because I've got a lot of racing uh, that's kind of come out of nowhere a little bit but so I'm, I'm going to be doing this series which is like six to eight weeks long I'm also going to be doing um, the hot route next weekend like I'm actually going to race it properly I want to say race it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to give it my best. Because um, uh, it'll be a good opportunity early season to see where I am. Uh, all the multi-days. And you know, all the climbs are long, so... You know I like that. Um, and then after that, like a week after the Hot Route, which is next weekend, I'm doing... We managed to get a team together, an eight-man team, through backpedal to do a stage race on RGT, which is um, the Tour of Wales, basically. So, cheers, Zach. I'll look out for it. I'll hang on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's going to be a busy five-day period. Um, with that, with the, with the RGT stage race, there won't be long races, like an hour, but I'll have to be careful with overall load because of that. Um, and then the weekend after that, we're going to be doing the 10,000 meter climbing ride to celebrate the 10,000 subscribers, which, sorry I haven't done already. <laughs> Round of applause to everybody. Thank you. So yeah, that's kind of like the next three weeks summarized really. <laughs> so there's quite a lot of racing, which isn't what I want to do. But um, that's part of balancing everything, so. I will enjoy it, nonetheless. Nice one, Lord. Great way to summarize it. Thank you. <laughs> That's right, David. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing this next weekend and the Hort route. Um... I'm also going to be doing um, 
the following weekend when I do the RGT race, I'm going to be doing this as well. Even though the best six, it's only the best six races of this league that count, I think. So I don't have to do them all. But I am going to do them all for the sake of uh, continuity. And like I said, it'll give me something, give me something nice. I have to say, it's kind of been, it's been a thing of mine to always be careful about how much I do because, oh look at that, the man Freddy over it's giving me a ride on. Thank you Freddy. <laughs> the, um, you know, I, I don't want to be seen as the person who just races, 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 races. Particularly when I'm training my way back up to a certain level now. So I need to um, I need to be careful what I do really. But for the sake of YouTube and keeping the momentum rolling, you know, and for your own because that's one of the reasons why I did so much live streaming last year is for my own sanity. And for everybody else who's kind of stuck indoors and riding with themselves. So that's kind of it's it's a little bit like how say you guys balance your training with a full-time job. I have to balance my training with YouTube content. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it can be quite difficult sometimes because you've got to make a hard decision whether or not you whether or not you're going to do it or not that's quite a tough decision to make um, but personally you know like this race now for example this is perfect for me you know it's going to be just over an hour there's going to be a lot of zone 2 involved as you can see already um, And, uh, you know, it's not going to take a lot out of me. You know, the problem is the races that take like a whole chunk out of my energy reserves and then go in like the next day of training, it becomes like really hard to do. So that's why you've got to be quite careful with it. That's right, David, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drop bears. That's right, David, yeah. No, I know, Michael, that's the thing. It's not always the case. You know, not everyone's lucky enough to be able to ride zone two. But it becomes very handy, you know, when you are able to ride a race that's flat in zone two, it becomes like a great part of something else. <laughs> yeah, Dan. So shout out to Dan, who's just popped up in the chat in YouTube. He's, uh, he sent me all the details um, really early, so in some ways I was able to schedule my, my 12 day training block prior to this so thanks for the early heads up Dan I did share it with our discord group so I'm sure that's helped hopefully uh, exercise coach leg that's what I was doing last year. I was doing like four, three or four races back to back. But I wouldn't recommend it to a lot of people. You need to be quite highly trained to not put yourself in such a hole. 
you know, so that you're able to then get the most out of it. What's that, Derek? Lots of cycling content on YouTube is long videos. Sometimes less is more. I agree with you there. Maybe you mix up your YouTube content so less volume, high quality, and your heavy training weeks. Um. Well, my last my last couple of videos have only been like 11 minutes, haven't they? So it's actually really hard to cut them down that far, you know. Like because in my head. I'm not happy with my own video unless uh, when I watch it back I try to put myself in a position where I know nothing about it so like I don't want to give you a video with very little context because I want you to get the most out of it or the best out of it and that can be really hard to do in a sub 15 minute video <laughs> yeah, that's the one, David, yeah. That was in London, wasn't it? Will I be doing one hour of climbing tomorrow? No. I think you've got a little bit confused. So, every month leading up to my, my Everesting challenge in July, I'm gonna be doing um, like a climbing challenge every month. Not every week, <laughs> every month. And it's gonna be like, <clears throat> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Amateur. So what I was going to say was, every month I'm going to be increasing it. So in January, you saw in that video, I did one hour climbing up and down a hill for one hour. In February, I'm gonna be doing two hours, up and down, up and down, up and down. Fair March, three hours, etc., etc. So, that will be a continuation until July. To me, not only does that normalize the effort, as in, some of you might think that's crazy, like why would you do that when doing an Everesting is hard enough for seven hours? 
but mentally the Everest in I think turns out to be more of a mental challenge possibly than a physical so I'm building a bit of a callus on my mind regarding hill reps if I can get my head around normalizing four and five hours of going up and down the same hill already I'm a click ahead so it's just part of my preparation Is Zach still pulling? Doing his death turn. It's quite frankly amazing how much How much progression I've made in the last month. It just amazes me. Yeah, I was gonna say, Zach, I mean, we're riding along about three watts per kilo, so that's pretty much borderlines on ones on two, in it, for you? Well, actually, Three boss will be zone one. Up the zone one. Morning Josh. What's my quickest time above the Zwift? Like 34, 14 is it? Something like that. The Libby Hill effort is going to be disgusting, Sammy. <laughs> Go on, Zach. Go on, Zach. Pedal to the metal, buddy. You got the gap. I'm holding the line. <laughs> Zach's actually doing some, uh, some high intensity efforts here, everyone. So we did have a little discussion yesterday. <coughs> I coaxed him into it. Have you not seen my video about it, Josh? Have you not seen my video? There's two videos. There's one where I actually do it. It's a bit like a Lionel Sanders uh, knockoff video. <laughs> and the other video is uh, like basically just trying to help other people get faster up it. Yeah, you definitely need to watch out, Josh. You definitely need to watch it. 
It's probably one of the things you have to watch it till the end as well because there's a good. Uh, <laughs> there's a good bit at the end. <laughs> Nice one, Derek. Certainly is something that we used to do a lot of. Like rice for breakfast was a was a norm. It can be, Josh, if you're tired. Yeah. Cheers, AW. Zach, you're making this hard. <laughs> Morning, Dave. First right outside. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, Zach. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, buddy. Keep doing your thing. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> it just catches me out. I'm not concentrating. How am I keeping my heart rate so low? Well, my max heart rate is probably only like 180, 185. So, it's not my fault that it's this low. But in comparison, it's not actually that low. Like if you had a max heart rate of 200, you might be at 160 beats a minute right now. So don't worry about my heart rate. Plus, I'm still quite quiet. Uh, quiet. I'm still quite tired from my training block. You came for the end mode. Big sprint at the end, isn't it? This is a GC race, so it's all about getting the highest possible position. I don't think I'm going to be able to break away on this course. No, it's horrible how... <laughs> Karen, do you really expect me to answer that question right now in the middle of a, a race? The Edmore doesn't come every race, buddy. You've got to learn to deal with that. There's no such thing as being on your top form every single day. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> I have to deal with it, so you have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I report you, Jack. Got a bit of everything, Charlie. <laughs> We're topia waistband. It's a bit uncomfortable. I must keep telling myself Zach is hurting more. <laughs> Thank you, love the content. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Easy mode. <laughs> I did see the pictures when the Mars are over, yeah? Not bad for CGI, is it? <laughs> Guys, um, the train the road thing, like I've never used it so I can't really comment. I don't know if Dylan has used it either, but to be honest, if you haven't used it, I don't know if you should comment on it. Um, I can't really comment on it because I've never used it, but I know people it's worked great for. I also know people it's worked like terribly for. But let me tell you something, for nothing. Every training session works, every training plan works. It doesn't matter if it's the best or the worst. Every training plan works and you're always gonna find a training session or a training plan that doesn't work. The society we find ourselves in now is one that always wants the best, which is absolutely fine. But is that the reality? If you're always looking for the best, you might not ever do anything. And to me, if somebody is following a trainer road plan or workout and they're enjoying it, crack on. Mozzle top, as Gary Vee says. Crack on. Um, you know, the thing about sweet spot is, it doesn't matter what the science says, it doesn't matter what you say is the best way to train. You know, it doesn't matter if you tell people, stop doing sweet spot, it's crap. I know people, locally, they don't give a stuff about the science. They just want to train, and they want to train a certain way. And even though it's your job to try and stop them, and to get them to train a better way, sometimes they don't want to. And if they don't want to, what's the best training for them? Best training for them is what they enjoy. So, <laughs> so although I'm not really giving an answer, I'm not annoyed by it, by the way, I'm not annoyed by it. When I, like, I love all forms of training. Like, I love polarized. I love doing lots of thresholds. I love doing lots of sweet spot. I love doing lots of tempo. I love doing long endurance rides. I love it all. Why? because it all has its place. But 
you know, if you're doing a shed load of sweet spot, you know, maybe there is something wrong there. You know, in that you're always going to be, you know, doing a lot of sweet spot. But if you enjoy it, and if that's giving you gains, and if that's what your race is going to, like, need a lot of, then crack on. You know what I mean? You know, what they're doing is plug in a hole in the market and, you know, they're trying to give us content all the time, you know, on YouTube, podcast, and you've got to take a hat off to that because that's a lot of stuff. You know, whether it's right or wrong, they're putting out a lot of stuff and it's very easy to come along and say, they're doing it wrong, but... You know, they're just doing something to help. You know, just like we all are, we're all doing something to help. You know, whether it's right or wrong for you, does it really matter? Like, I'm a big advocate. You come here and you watch me do like big performances. Well, not recently. <laughs> but you come here and you watch me ride. I love performance. But. I've got to be honest, performance yields fun. Fun yields performance. And if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to perform. Likewise, if I'm not performing, I'm not going to have fun. But which one really comes first? Like the chicken and the egg. For me, it's always the fun. Do you know what I mean? And if, if it's fun, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. And if that's a sweet spot, crack on. <coughs> oh, I've run out of breath though, doing all that talking. <laughs> Travel segments come first. So, like my video yesterday, where I talk about like my nutrition on a six hour ride, you know, you could pick that apart and say, oh, you're not eating, you know, you're not eating properly. It's all about sustainability. And if you're not enjoying it, you know, so if I was living like a monk, you know, eating like rice and broccoli and whatever every day, would I enjoy it? I do for certain times of the year, but not all the time. So, it's about, that's why training plans are a little bit of a gray area. Training plans are a gray area. It's funny I'm saying that because I'm coming up with training plans. <laughs> but I would much rather come up with training plans and then be in constant contact with you, whether it be here on a live stream and you ask me questions, and we troubleshoot, because troubleshooting, I think, is the biggest, um, is the biggest thing that leads to success. When you're on a training plan, and you get to a point where you don't know what to do, and you want to make it more individual, because a training plan is a little bit generic, you can make an individual. How? By asking for advice or sharing information with other people and they're able to offer you an insight into how it's worked for them. So for me, it's about giving a platform where it's like an open forum where you can pull apart a plan and make it work for you under your own steam. Because what I've learned is through like, you know, Racing for teams, but also racing for my local club and seeing cyclists at an amateur level. A lot of people know how to train, they just need the guidance every so often. You know, do I do this? Where do I go with this workout? How do I make it better? You know, questions. 
because we always learn through communicating back and forth. So that's something that I'm quite interested in as opposed to just selling plans. It's the communication and the using everybody's knowledge to get the most out of it. So it's a little bit like what Trainer Road have done with the forum, but a bit more. Uh, what's the word? Don't want to do enough for. Anyway, enough chat. <laughs> Hey, cheers, I guess. Have a good ride yourself. Uh, Dave. Um. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I might jinx it. It's supposed to be coming Monday. Um, they weren't going to come tomorrow, but it's Charlie's birthday, so. Oh, GAW with the facts right there. The best training is the training that gets done. We're on 90% of the cyclists. <laughs> What have I missed there with the ad, Lord? Greg, can't scroll up far enough. Charlie does come first, yeah. <laughs> that would not go down well. Um, I was gonna say, um, the plans of the minute, I'm not gonna talk about it much, but the plans of the minute, <coughs> there's, there's a few, but it's like a constant work in progress. So, like, if there's nothing there for you now, know that, you know, in, in a couple of weeks, well, basically, whenever I get time, which is every week, in fairness, but I'm constantly working to upload more. So, working through certain plans that I'm thinking of and then putting them into action. So, if there's nothing for you there initially, just know that I'm working to 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 build those, you know. Because oh, nice, Charlie. 18 degrees. I don't know. Um, Cam Nichols in Australia has done that, hasn't he? Hasn't he built a a bike with the Chinese carbon frame? If anyone can find the video, you can drop it in the chat. Oh, did they? Wind spear sent. Ah, I didn't know that. I'm around my little Tafosi. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the call from Trek, but. <laughs> I'm joking.
Zach is just Zach's just living for the six watts per kilo, honey. <laughs> Get after it, Zach. Cheers, Charlie. <laughs> I remember that name, Dan. <laughs> Thing is, though, it's like a it's like a double-edged sword because for me, if the course is tougher, it's generally easier. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> He's alright, Danny. He's been working on the website for the plans. <laughs> so, the little hospital trip kind of uh, thwarted uh, the progress, but uh, he's good now. He's good. I think he's back, well, he's not back to normal, obviously, but. He's doing his thing. Good question, Derek. Um, my most recent purchase is that Camelback. He's actually just there drying. Um, that is probably the most recent purchase I've made that I wish I would have bought like 10 years ago. So I can carry more water, basically. Is that the Chinarello? Where? That bike there, that's Charlie's bike, guys. What's my retirement plan as a cyclist? Am I already retired? <laughs> oh, people are questioning two goals in the race chat. No news yet, Lord. No news. I don't know, to be honest, whether or not they're going to send them here or I'm going to go there to pick them up. I think if they send them here, it's going to be quite difficult because they'll probably want a video of me like going there and picking it up, but obviously I can't do that. So. I don't know. <laughs> Controversial.
No, that was part of your plan, Zach. <laughs> Okay, 16k to go. Oh. I was going to say, Zach, because you must have been right at the end of your effort there, or in your recovery period, so <laughs> it was like, yeah, perfect. Let's just go up a little two minute hill. <laughs> I'm gonna need more fan, I think. Am I doing the Uber Pretzel later? No, I am not. I've done it a fair few times now, so. Oh, sorry, is there anyone doing it? I don't know. Who's doing the Uber Pretzel? Hey, Chris. The pretzel is going to take a long time. Uh, you definitely need to pace yourself on the climbs. <coughs> the treat, the descents on the flats is recovery because it'll be a long old ride anyway. My next FTP test is going to be next week. I think. Like a midweek. Yeah. 
Is it just inside his first group right, is it? Yeah, and deer run zone three, that's good, yeah. And then sweet spot on the climbs. Yeah, that's pretty much how you're gonna have to play it really. Jojo, I will expect improvements, yes. Because zone two has physiological changes that although I'm not obviously working at like a high heart rate or power, I am increasing my efficiency and recruiting a lot of things physiologically. So it would still have an effect, I'd imagine. We'll soon see. Yeah, that should do it, Chris. That should do it. I need we I need we Hey thanks for the subscription Just saw that then in the corner of my eye Yeah well they will do Jojo because you haven't done them in ages but that doesn't mean your FTP is gonna be lower Although it might lower your FTP. It depends, isn't it? It depends, it depends, it depends. I can't I can't give an answer. <laughs> um, like there's been noticeable changes this last week. Like I've actually noticed a difference which already tells me that I'm potentially stronger. I would too if my heart rate got that high. I didn't actually, Ollie. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm very much uh, 
a sponge. I'm also very much someone who likes to try out new things. So a lot of it has been trial and error, as well as following what tradition has said, as well as the new stuff. You can't go wrong, to be honest. But you can't go far wrong, at least. I'm a fair way off my best, uh, Georgia. In terms of time scale, um, I probably won't get there until June. Which is totally normal. No, Giorgio, that's when I think <clears throat> with progressive training, I'm going to be back. So, like, even if I put June, like, me pushing it now to get as fit as quick as possible, won't be until June. <clears throat> In other words, I don't think I'll get to where I was before June. Like, it might be later than June, but if I'm actually going full all in, I think June is the earliest I can be. Back to 400 watts for 20 minutes. Potentially. It could be earlier, but I'm being super conservative about... Basically, I've got to gain like 50 watts back. So, it's still a fair way away. I am peaking for the Everest in, in July, though. Oh, this is going to get spicy. Entertaining finale here, everyone. <laughs> Interesting that Phillips is following it. Why is he doing that? He's got one of the best sprints here. Yes, I will be, Giorgio. I made a note of your question on Phil's video. I'll just share with you what I see on my training beaks. So it'll be full of data. I don't know if you like that or not, but best way to explain it. No more question. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's about to get serious now. So we get points for obviously finishing position. That's how the general classification works. It's your best six results. So I don't have to get a really good result here, but it could be good to get my foot in the door on one of my weaker courses. Yeah, Zach's gonna win the sprint. <laughs> Zach's gonna win the sprint. <laughs> Zach's got a bigger sprint than me. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's like this, hey B.
Not bad. Six, I think. Oh. I think that was a sixth place. Oh. So I'll let you into a little bit of a secret, but I actually wanted to test my 30 second power today. And uh, that was it, eh? That was it. Sorry, clicky, yeah. There he is, Zach, good job. So I wanted to test my 30 second power and I didn't think, to be honest, that they would go that early. But I was worrying that they would go, I was worrying that they would go earlier than 450 to go. 450 minutes to go at 55k an hour was what I was kind of hoping would take us 30 seconds but we were going faster so obviously Phillips and Young took the podium spot there they are like like pure strong men when it comes to sprinting so I think to score sixth place there in one of my weaker disciplines is a good start is a good start um, shout out Zach, you got a great little interval session in there, let's see, I wish they'd have the flags next to people's names, because then I'd know people a bit better. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm happy with that, I wonder what my 30 second power was then. So obviously we didn't have a high peak, but that one minute power looks interesting already. Oh damn. Hey, that's good look, it was just dropping off at the end. Six, seven, three. Nice, 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 nice. So it looks like the sprint was just a smidge. It was literally like one second shorter than it was more like a 24 second sprint, I think, because you can see it starts to fall off the edge of a cliff there. So I think the actual sprint was around 25 seconds. We weren't that far off our best. Um, that's pretty flipping close. Seven watts off our best, 28 seconds. So I'm gonna take that, to be honest. I'm gonna take that. Zach, if you're keen, I'm still riding, so I don't know uh, whereabouts you are, buddy, but I'm a little bit further down the road, maybe. Oh, no, wait. Is that you in front? Might be you in front. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought, Zach. So I thought it would be a long sprint anyway. Um, so there's a good chance to test the 30 second power. Obviously, it's at the end of a race. And it's not, um, it's not like totally fresh, but it's good enough. Nice Tom Shaw. <laughs> oh. Gringo. I know we see his name around a lot. Spring outside, you're crazy. 
Do you live in Wales? <laughs> Dennis, I've just done a massive block of training outdoors, so. Like. Don't talk to me about riding outside. <laughs> so what's everybody's plan today, and Are you riding? Are you not riding? <laughs> Mr. Shaw, how are you doing? I'm doing another 15 minutes, so if you care to join. Nice, Greg. Where about you living? You must be living in the US. Ah, oh, Dennis. Don't rub it in. Oh, nice guys, nice. I'm good, thanks, Tom. I'm good. Just finished the race. Came sixth in the sprint. That's in a bit, Bill. I said, right on Zach. Oh, there you are. Eight seconds behind. I'll just ease up a little bit then. Nice one, Carl. Nice one. Yeah, what's that exercise coach like? Exercise coaching. Not leg. What is a leg for? Oh, nasty, Greg, nasty. Get well soon. Where's that gone? Zach was there a second ago. Come on, come on, Mac. Oh, there you are. I can see you. <coughs> Zach is like just behind us, maybe two or three seconds, so I'm just easing slightly. I'm guessing I'll be riding about three to three and a half off the heel or so. Gonna wrap the stream up in about 13 minutes for 12 minutes. Aha, there he is. was crowded. Out of cyclists and rowers which have the highest recorded VO2. It's a pretty, aren't they pretty similar? Yeah, it's the Wahoo Ticker Fit. It's really good actually, because my chest gets sweaty and uh, it ruins my strap. So this one's really good because your arm doesn't sweat as much.
What's my highest VO2 max? Um, I've never had a VO2 max test. WKO um, does model it, but it's not. I don't. Th I don't know how much to trust it. But at my peak fitness last year, it said 92 VO2 max. I've never done after it. I've done after Zwift. If I had 6k to spend on a bike, I'd probably be a specialised, wouldn't it? Specialised or a... Um, which way are we going, guys? It would probably be like a specialised or a, I don't know, I don't know how much it costs actually. I haven't looked at bikes for like years, because I've never had to own one. <laughs> well, when I say own one, I mean buy one, apart from the one I'm on now. Good comparison, that Greg. Thank you, Zach. I was pretty fresh, still, wasn't I? So. I'm pretty sure if I was doing your interval session, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wouldn't have managed a sprint. Yeah, I know I bought my current one. But aside from that, I haven't actually like bought a bike really. For years. No, it's a force you love me. You love me a bit. Orange. Nice. Go on, Shane, you can get that drawn, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate that, Chris, but I, 
I'm certainly no Greg Lamont <laughs> or Marco Pantani. I try my best to be, but I'm I'm far from it, I'm sure. I would very much like to get out to Alvarez and film a bit of a film on my channel for it. Um, much like what Vegan Cyclist is doing with Death Valley next week. Make a bit of a, I don't know, make a, make a bit of a fun fan film, I guess. Give it a good stab and see how I do. Hey Norris, exercise coach. Nice of you to join us. I shall hit you up, Greg. I shall hit you up. Hey, I'm nearly level 46, Tom. I'll get that jersey. I'm liking this race series because there's no power-ups either. So it's very much uh, old school. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Cheers. I will indeed. I enjoy it. I love it. Do it while you're young, as people have always told me. Do it while you're young. Charlie's done... Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of it. The singles on Vontu, Mont Vontu. So it's the three ascents. Um, she did it a couple of years ago. About well, five years ago, maybe. It's a really good experience, she said. All in one day. It's really hard, but worth doing. Three ascents on Mont Vontu. Climb, descend. Climb, descend, climb. Exercise code, you'll have to send me an email. Have to send me an email. Ah, uh, Phil. Uh, Zach, I'm just doing another 4K, mate. 
I'm just doing uh, 70k. So um, I've got the workout later as well. So I'm supposed to be kind of half resting. So um. Yeah, that'd be good, Greg, wouldn't it? Three roots up there. Yeah, I've got the BRT workout later. So I'm looking after myself. Ian, um, Phil, love it, yeah. But, well, no, he's still put videos out, isn't he, Ian? I think tunnel vision is needed for his, uh, for his, uh, come back I'm doing the hot route next weekend yes looking forward to it hey Becky's just giving me a ride on that <laughs> Ed Laverick at yahoo.com it's quite simple. I said, Lord, thanks, buddy. It was indeed, Zach. I enjoyed. It was nice to have your company as well. For you to pull pull the race around. You might have taken the sting out of some of the legs for me. <laughs> So I owe you a coffee when I see you next. A virtual coffee. <laughs> You'll have a word. <laughs> no worries, Michael, no worries. Yeah, 4.30 p.m. for the workout later today. I'm hoping to freshen up now over the next couple of days. Um, I'll tell you all about it in a, in a video. I'm hoping to freshen up and then I'm gonna do an FTP test, which will be a little bit different to what you're normally used to seeing. Um, who is Adam Hansen? And I'll explain a little bit why I'm doing this different FTP test. Uh, that'll be about midweek and then we'll freshen up them for the Hort route which I hope to race full gas next weekend oh you didn't get one the jersey that Tom's got is you unlock it at level 46 I've been talking to Zwift Insider about doing a, a meetup. <laughs> you don't know me any, sorry. <laughs> I've been talking to Zwift Insider. After, after doing those articles on my comeback, um, I've been speaking to, um, to somebody over there about it was their idea actually to do a, a workout where we basically do some hill reps, really short, uh, sharp efforts. So, uh, it You've got something to look forward to in that department. <laughs> Maybe that's why we haven't got many signed up. There we are. It doesn't matter. Right. Thanks, lads.
Yes, I'm streaming the workout. <laughs> when am I when am I replacing G? <laughs> I don't think I'll be replacing G. Although we can dream. We can dream. <laughs> Cheers guys, thanks for uh, thanks for your company. Um we did well there. We did well. <laughs> Still a little bit um Gobsmacked. Oh, look at all that blue. It's so lovely. Thanks, Martin. Hope you're well. Nice to see you enjoying your riding. Oof. Nice, 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 nice. Clean this up a little bit. Six. Ah, oh, right. Catch you in a bit, everyone. Um, Phil, see you in a bit. And uh, yeah. I'll see everybody else later this afternoon, this evening, 4.30 for the workout. If not, uh, see you in the video. See ya. <laughs>